Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining in. My name is Dean Parsons. I'm a certified SANS instructor for ICS 515 and 418 as well. In today's ICS security briefing, we are going to be talking about the active cyber defense cycle, otherwise known as ACDC. So let's jump right in. The active cyber defense cycle has five steps, which we'll walk through each of those steps in just a moment. Now, the active cyber defense cycle, ACDC, must have analysts that are monitoring for, responding to, and learning from adversaries internal to the control system environment. So we have to have human defenders that deploy and maintain the active cyber defense cycle. The active cyber defense cycle does have the first place we start, which is usually the threat intelligence consumption phase. This, of course, refers to cyber threat intelligence, refined information with context of the cyber threats and adversary groups targeting our industrial control system environments across all sectors in the ICS. It's important to note as well that the ACDC cycle can be deployed in all industrial control environments across all sectors. Now, as a defender in ICS, we can leverage threat intelligence and we can put that to use to detect scope and also prevent attacks that we've seen in the past. It can also be used for proactive defense as well, understanding where the adversary may be targeting in the control system environment and leverage that threat intelligence to help us prevent attacks. Once we have threat intelligence into our process, we'll put that to use with visibility. Specifically, the ICS visibility refers to at least passive view of the control system networks. When we have that in place, we're able to leverage ICS specific or ICS aware technology that can dissect, properly interpret specific industrial control protocols for control systems. With network visibility in place with threat intelligence coupled with it, we can then leverage that to go to the threat detection part of active cyber defense. With those things we have in place, threat detection is much easier. We then have the ability to use ICS aware technology and it allows us to sift through control system network data looking for signs of threats in the environment. Also looking for signs of impact that could impact the safety and reliability of the operations and the engineering systems. Now the thing about this part is that when we have threat intelligence, married up with visibility as well as threat detection, and we're looking in the environment for threats, we could find threats, which means in industrial control system incident response, we must be ready, fully prepared to deploy things like quick triage of an incident, understanding what the threats are in the environment, being prepared to do incident response adapted specifically for the industrial control system space. Of course, all of this can be while we're fighting through an actual attack, still maintaining the safety and reliability of a control environment. So when we do have incident response kicked off and active to reduce the um, ability for the attacks and, and incidents to hit us and have an impact, we have then, of course, the TEM phase, which is the threat and environment manipulation. This is the last phase of the active cyber defense cycle, otherwise known as TEM. And you have the ability here to change the threat or change the environment. So if we are able to make our environment less habitable to the threat, we can reduce the impact of the threat. Similarly, if we reduce the uh, capabilities of the threat as well, we'll also help maintain safety and reliability of operations. So there you have it. That is the active cyber defense cycle. To recap, the ACDC cycle is a repeatable process that does require human defenders who have knowledge of industrial control system uh, designs, uh, security, but also understands the control system process, the engineering processes. With this knowledge and trained ICS defense knowledge, we can then execute those five steps of active cyber defense, which are threat intelligence consumption, the visibility, threat detection, industrial control system incident response, and TEM, otherwise known as threat and environment manipulation. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed today's um, quick briefing. Again, my name is Dean Parsons, and I hope to see you in class soon.